Hey Virgo, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. Doing a face to face today, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. So we're doing face to face and this is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you have Virgo anywhere in your sign or if you love a Virgo, this reading very well may resonate. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Hard left, right? Um, if you uh, would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, this is not your personal reading. This is a general reading for the collective zodiac sign of Virgo. If you find yourself somewhere in this reading, that is awesome. You may find yourself anywhere. Maybe it hasn't happened. Maybe you're in the thick of it. Maybe it's already ended for you. But nevertheless, it's a general reading, okay? All right. So Virgo, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to point out that you begin this reading with justice and you end this reading with justice, baby. Justice on both ends, end capped by justice. Okay, so you start out this reading with justice, right? And I asked why. What is this justice? What's this justice about? I asked why. And what came back was the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a jealous, insecure, um, angry person. To the Nine of Wands in reverse, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, and on edge. To the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, right? Virgo, you are on edge, hesitant, hesitant, and defensive because you have some jealousy. You're jealous of somebody or something. Um, and you're angry about it, right? Somebody has made you feel insecure and you're angry about it. And lo and behold, you will get your justice. And that's what this reading is about. It's about you getting your justice, Virgo. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Same card, right? This is the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is the Nine of Wands upright. So what comes next is the Nine of Wands upright. After some kind of struggle, your endurance is tapped, right? Your, your endurance is just tapped. This guy, he's planted eight of these already, right? And he's got one more to go. And he's got a bandage on his head, the look on his face. He's like, fuck me. Did I really agree to do this? He's like, I just want to throw this last one down and just go home. I just cannot freaking do this anymore. And that's how you feel, Virgo. It's how you're feeling right now. I just cannot do this anymore. Just can't do it. To the sun in reverse, not very optimistic about the direction that this whole thing is headed. Not really digging it. To the high priestess in reverse, this is uh, your subconscious mind and your intuition. It's the keeper of secrets, your secrets, okay? Not their secrets, your secrets, if there is a secret. High priestess knows. So the sun in reverse says you're not real optimistic. The high priestess says you are disconnecting and withdrawing. And also it says that there is um, just a lack of faith in the whole thing. Just a lack of faith. And the Six of Swords says that uh, there is too much water under the bridge. There's too much baggage and you need to move on. Right? You need to move on. Three of Swords says having some foresight to the Ace of Wands in reverse that nothing's making here. Right? Nothing is making. This is a situation that lacks passion. Okay? Nothing is making here. So this whole top row right here tells me, Virgo, that you are being vindicated. You are getting some kind of justice because you, either as the Queen of Pentacles, are feeling defensive, hesitant, challenged, on guard, jealous and insecure. Or this is saying that you are getting your justice because... Yeah, that's exactly what it's saying. That's exactly what it's saying. You're getting justice because um, 
because uh, you're on guard and defensive and you're jealous and insecure in this relationship. So you might not be jealous, okay? You might not be jealous. You might be jealous or insecure. Insecure or jealous, but jealous and insecure go together. So this card tells me you're a little jealous and insecure of whatever's going on in this situation. Uh, Nine of Wands says that you've been through it. You've been through the ringer. You've been through the ringer. You're not very optimistic. You are withdrawing from, from the situation um, because there's just too much water under the bridge and you just need to move on. You have some foresight to see that nothing is making in this relationship. The star card comes in and says you have a lack of faith in this relationship. And again, you are disconnecting because there has been a ton of conflict, um, tension, loss, defeat, mind games, betrayal, shady behavior all the way around in this card right here, right? Shady behavior all the way around. And you just have a lack of faith that anything could ever be fixed in this relationship because there's too much water under the bridge. Well, there you are, Virgo. And yes, I know this is the Queen of Wands, but this is you, Virgo. You are presenting as the Queen of Wands. You are presenting as somebody who is a boss biatch, okay? You know what's up. You know what's up in this card right here. This is Virgo. <clears throat> this is exuberance, warmth, vibrancy, determination, such, such determination. Virgo, this card is about somebody who's not going to settle for less than exactly what it is that they want, right? Not going to settle. And you are sitting in your power right here with fire energy, fire energy all over you, Virgo, in the center of your reading. To the Nine of Pentacles, a self-sufficient, independent person. Okay, self-sufficient, self independent, and this self-sufficient, independent person backed up by this Queen of Wands energy right here, she's bringing a conclusion, a culmination, chopping the block and bringing things to an end because she's not settling for the way shit is right now. This Queen of Wands, you Virgo, is coming out of heartbreak right? You're gaining some optimism and you're, 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 you're coming out of heartbreak and you're planning on the future, right? I don't know. It's about forgiveness too. I don't know if you're forgiven, but if you are good for you, seven of swords in reverse says you're, you're just, you're breaking free, breaking free of all of the lies, the cheating, the stealing, the deceit, the betrayal, everything that goes with the seven of swords, right? Shady behavior, trying to get away with something, covering shit up, right? You are breaking free from all of that, breaking free from all of it. You are gaining balance in your life with the two of pentacles and you are bringing something to an absolute inevitable ending. Ace of swords comes in and says, you're pretty darn clear about that. You're pretty darn clear about the fact that you are done with all of this. Just done with it, right? Absolute mental clarity. Truth is spoken either by somebody else to you that makes you enter into this energy or this is you speaking truth to yourself about how my worth is just way better than what's going on right here, right? Eight of Cups comes in and says that uh, you're thinking about walking away. Okay? It's about it's about moving on. It's about walking away. It's about disappointment, escapism, abandonment. You are just out, right? But for some reason, the Eight of Wands in reverse comes in and says, Arr! hold up. This card is about putting things on hold, okay? In reverse, it's about putting things on hold. In the upright, it's about movement, action, swift change, and energetic push in the situation. In reverse, it's like breaks, hard breaks, right? And it's clarified by the Eight of Cups. So the root card says you're walking away. Eight of Wands in reverse comes in and says you're holding on though. You're, you're, you're holding up. Hope, er, not, not walking away. Holding off from walking away. So you have, I'm walking away. And then something happens that says, oh, no, I'm not walking away. Okay, so what is this? What happens here, Virgo, is that somebody comes in with a message for you. 
Somebody comes in with a message. Now I want to point out that this is the Page of Swords, right? Page of Swords, he's a little asshole. He is. He runs in and he blurts out what he has to say and then he runs back out again, right? And you're just like, what just happened? Who was that? Right? He's the town crier, right? He's the guy that just, uh, he, he delivers, but he doesn't follow through. It's not his job to follow through. He doesn't follow through. So I want to point out that this page right here does not follow through. So there's some communication that comes into you real quick with this page of swords about victory, progress, and success in the relationship. About where there was a breakdown, right? There was a breakdown and then you get a message about victory, progress, and success, okay? That's why you're holding off walking away. Because this message comes in and says, hold up, Virgo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I can finally communicate with you. I think I can finally tell you what's going on with me and let's try to do this again, right? But Virgo's up here with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles and Virgo's like, mm, nee, bro, no, bro. No, it better be really fucking good, whatever you got to say, because nah. Strength, right? You gotta, you pull on some strength. You just pull on some inner strength because you obviously have feels for this person, right? So you, you, you gotta pull on some inner strength. They're bringing you the message of feelings, right? The Prince of Cups is a deliverer of emotions. He is, he, the Prince of Cups, okay? This person is delivering their emotions to you. Promising you unified love, two of cups relationship, right? Remember, after all of this lying, cheating, stealing type of behavior. And lo and behold, Virgo, you have to make a judgment call. You're going to have to make a decision as to whether you're going to believe this person and move forward or not. Simple as that. Well, here we go, Virgo. This is your decision. Of course, everybody's different, right? Everybody's different. Not everybody's going to make the same decision. But whatever Virgo I'm linking up with right here, this is the decision of the Virgo, okay? Virgo says, no. Virgo says, I have my own security, my own control, my own power. I have my own plans and my own ambition, and you just don't fit into the picture. You don't fit into the picture of what I deserve. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that's giving up, giving it up, just giving it up. To the Ace of Cups in reverse, creative block total creative block, blocking creation, lovers in reverse, breaking up, breaking up, blocking creation, giving up to the star in reverse, total lack of faith in the relationship and disconnecting because it's toxic Virgo. It's a toxic relationship. It's a toxic person that you're dealing with. It's toxic. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. And I'll tell you what, if anybody understands that, it's the Queen of Wands, right? You in the middle of this reading right here, you understand that this situation, this relationship, this person is toxic for you. And it's an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Bravo. Prince of Cups in reverse says completely and totally unrealistic. Unrealistic. To the Five of Swords, too much water under the bridge, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, win at all costs, mind games. That's what this card is. Virgo's like, hell no. Four of Cups in reverse, you're not contemplating and reevaluating. You're not contemplating and reevaluating. You're chalking it up as a lost opportunity. And Justice comes in and says, Bravo, Virgo. Bravo. 
You made the right decision. You did what was right for you. You followed your intuition. You had foresight to see that this was never going to be what you want it to be. And you're walking away. You're walking away even with the offer that comes through, right? Even with this offer that comes through, this, oh, I want to be your knight of cups. I want to be in two cups, right? Nuh uh. The decision that you make right there with that judgment card, that is a rebirth. This is a judgment call that is a complete rebirth to your life. And that's what you did. That's exactly what you did. Let's pull an oracle card. This is the Magdalene oracle, okay? All right. Let's see. Spirit. What do you got to say for Virgo? What do you got to say for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Focus on parting words, words of wisdom, pat on the back. What do you got for Virgo? Ha, look, it's liberation. <laughs> liberation. All right. Can't wait to see what this says. Dun, 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 dun. A, B, C, D. No, I'm kidding. There it is. Liberation. Okay. A person who recently hurt you or disappointed you in some way is simply a mirror for the hurt and disappointment you already held inside. All the events of your life, regardless of whether you label them good or bad, are simply acts of love. The hurt or disappointment you now feel is an opportunity for you to examine what it is that you don't love about yourself. It's safe for you to open your heart. Love yourself as you are and stop placing unreasonable expectations on yourself. Through self-acceptance comes a newfound sense of freedom, which transforms the way you see life and the world around you. If that doesn't just ring true for this whole reading, absolutely. Liberate yourself, Virgo. Liberate yourself. Get the hell out of a bad situation and say, see ya peace out, right? Peace out. All right, you guys, that was your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you for being patient with me with this whole camera thing going on here. Yeah. Hey, if you liked it, like it. If you haven't subscribed, join the, join the tribe and subscribe, right? Share it with anybody that you think it might help. And um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.